Hey guys, Zachy back here, back with another tech news video. Starting off is something pretty similar to a AI image generator such as Midjourney, but it's in 3D. And this is something really cool for gamers. You know how Midjourney and Dali and other AI apps can make a 2D AI image with a prompt, right? Well, a company called Yellow has raised $5 million to help fund their AI modeling tool. Essentially what it is, is they have a tool called Yellow Sculpt. And you can write a prompt for a character, and in a few minutes, it will generate a ready character model in 3D that you can use for your games. And the crazy thing is, this model is fully rigged by the AI, which means it's ready to animate instantly. And here's some good news for me. They said that the they said that the AI works seamlessly with popular game engines, such as Roblox Studio. So the second this goes public, I'll be sure to try it out. Next up, this seems like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. So humans have been wanting flying cars for a whole lot of time. And now we got something pretty close to it. A company called Pivotal has released a drone called Helix, and it can fit a person in it. Basically, it's a fully electric drone that can take off vertically. And the craziest thing about this is you don't need a pilot's license to use this thing. It's very easy to use and you can fly it around wherever you want. Just think about what could happen in 10 to 15 years or even less. You could just look up and you'll see drones flying all around you. Isn't that crazy? And even crazier, you can buy this drone next month. And it's around $150,000. That's cheaper than a Lamborghini. Next up, this one's for the science geeks. You guys have probably heard of Google's DeepMind AI. Well, they're using an improved version of their basic AI framework to predict the structures of cellular molecules and proteins. And its new update can also model DNA, RNA, and a molecule called ligand, whatever that is. And it's improved a lot with the accuracy after the update. They say it's improved 50% actually. So basically how this works is researchers put in a list of molecules they want to combine and then the AI 3D models them and combines them. This is definitely a really big step in the science and technology world and I can already imagine what's coming next. And last one for today, this isn't really a success but this is pretty important. So if you don't know already, there's this thing called a Neuralink and it's a brain chip made by Elon Musk. And there's only one person in the world right now that actually has it in their brain. But during the demonstration, it was noticed that the amount of data being captured by the Neuralink was not as much as it was performing earlier. Apparently, a bunch of threads came out of the patient's brain. Now, Neuralink says that they're investigating, and one possible reason is that during the surgery, a patient had a condition where there was air trapped in his brain while they were doing the surgery, and that's what could have caused the wires to come out. But nevertheless, Elon Musk still had a pretty successful demonstration, and it even included the patient playing chess. Okay guys, that's it for today's tech news. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you're always updated on the latest cool tech news.